Hello everyone! In this new tutorial I am going to show you how to implement this sort of flying scores or flying points. I think this can be really useful for several games, so I hope you like it. Uh, let's begin! Ok, let's begin. First, I am going to create the object OBJ OBJ flying points. OBJ flying points. This is the main object. I'm going to need only three events here. A create event, a step event and a draw event. Now I'll begin with the create create event. First, in this create event we are going to initialize a few variables. First, string equal to testing. This variable will store the text we want to show in the in the object and alpha level. This is the level of opacity of the object alpha level equal to 1. And now in the step event we are going to create the following code. First, if alpha level is less, less than or equal to 0, then I'm going to destroy destroy the instance. If that's not the case, then I'm going to move the object upwards by incrementing the vertical position by 1. Sorry, by decreasing the vertical position by 1. And here I'm going to decrease the alpha level. So basically here I am decreasing the opacity of the object and when the opacity level or alpha level is less than zero or equal to zero then I destroy the instance. And now finally in the draw in the draw event I'm going to draw the object with the following code draw text color and here we use the string which stores the value or the text we want to show in the object and now I'm going to choose white for the text and here this is very important instead of set the alpha to any number we are going to use here our variable alpha level by doing this we are going to achieve a fade sort of fade out effect and that's all our RBJ flying points object is complete. Now, in order to use it, we are going to create a secondary object and we are going to start with this second object. I'm going to name this object OBJ uh, Spawner and this object will only have two events a create event and an alarm zero event okay in the create event I'm going to set a few values for example direction equal to zero by doing this I'm going 
to achieve a horizontal movement towards the right move to right speed equal to 1 and I'm going to activate the alarm zero event okay and now I'm going to create a score variable and a score counter variable so you will see several uh, flagging point objects created and e every new object is going to to add uh, 1000 you will see how this work in just a few minutes and finally finally in the alarm event we are going to add the following lines of code first I'm going to increase score with the score counter variable and now I'm going to create an instance of our ABJ flying points object instance create obj flying points object and this way of creating an object is what is what I call dynamic initialization dynamic initial initialization uh, I'm going to talk uh, about this uh, topic later in, in another video tutorial because I think that this is a very important subject um, well I, I don't want to, to talk now because uh, uh, this is this is beyond the scope of this video tutorial but in a future video tutorial I am going to talk about what I call dynamic initialization in game maker and the advantage you can achieve by using this technique so well basically I created an instance of our object flying point and now I'm going to set the string variable of this object with the following code string score and finally alarm zero is set to run speed okay now I have this uh, object uh, obj spawner but I want to associate uh, sorry I want to make it visible so I'm going to create just a simple sprite something very simple and quick this this will be okay and now let's set the sprite with this SPR spawner sprite okay and it seems we are finally <coughs> created uh, the two objects so now I'm going to create a room and in this room I'm going to add an instance of the obj spawner and let's see it okay that you can see it uh, it seems I forgot something Ah, uh, uh, yes, there is an error here. Now it's fixed. Okay, let's play it again. 
and well there you can see it there you have this uh, flying points uh, as you can see this is very very easy to implement very quick and quite useful and as always I try to isolate the the code I show in the tutorial and basically you the, the only object and code you need in order to use these flying points in your own games it is this this obj flying point let's say that you have your uh, mario like character in a typical platform game and then you want to create one of these flying point instance when your uh, character uh, gets a, a coin or collide against a coin well you should add these two lines of code in the collision event of your character when colliding uh, against a coin so basically that's the only code you need and as I said before I am going to to talk about this uh, dynamic initialization in an upcoming video tutorial so okay that's all for now I hope you liked this video and as always I'll see you in upcoming video tutorials bye